encourage people, build them up. You know, do you want to have just the words for that friend who's crying in your arms? Do you want to have just the words for your boss at work whose spouse just left? Do you want to have just the right words, no matter where you are, to love people and lift their eyes from the depths of despair to the love of Daddy God? That's prophecy to edify, to encourage, and to comfort. Because we all have a daddy who loves us and his heart wants to just go in to every person and just pour his love, pour his power, pour his fire. And he needs you to do it. He needs you. It's the goodness of God that brings men to repentance. And when we prophesy to one another, when we prophesy to the lost, Daddy flows through us with his goodness and his love, and he puts a burning flame of awareness and awakening in that heart to draw men to himself. Because we know that prophecy looks like Jesus, right? The speaking the words of Jesus, then prophecy will always line up with the written word of God. Isaiah 8.20 says, To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Okay? We stand on the word of God. We live and breathe and we will die by the word of God. The word of God is the only truth and all truth is contained therein. Therefore, if something does not line up with the word of God, it is not real, it is not prophetic, it is not from the Holy Spirit. There's a video that's been going around on Facebook lately. You might have seen it. And it shows a beach and 30 dolphins have come up and have accidentally beached themselves on the sand. And there's a lot of people standing around. Has anyone seen this video on Facebook? Some have, yeah. So there's a lot of people on the sand and they're just staring at these dolphins. What do we do? What do we do? And all of a sudden, the people start to run into the ocean and they grab the dolphin, eat one person per animal. They grab it by the tail and they start dragging it out back into the surf where the water is deep enough for those dolphins to turn around. And before the, the people get to each animal, each dolphin, the dolphin is laying on the sand and they're thrashing and they're flopping and you can tell it looks like they're all about to die like they're just in their final moment. But one at a time, they grab those dolphins, and they pull them back, and they pull them back, and they pull them back. That is what prophecy will do for the people that you minister to from this day forward. Because there are people all around you that look just fine, but I will tell you underneath the surface, they are not just fine at all. And you might be one of those. And there are people with marriages on the rocks, and there are people who think that they want to die, and there are people who have lost all hope and who have lost their will to live. There are people who are dealing with chronic sickness and chronic pain, with memories of abuse, you name it. There are people next to you right now, right this very minute, that are dealing with those things and they're hurting. But the gift of prophecy, if you're willing to take it up tonight, will allow you to come up beside that person, grab hold of them, and drag them back into the surf of Father's love so that they can live and not die.